another mega factory to be reopened in Ghana. As part of Ghana's industrialization effort, new businesses and factories have opened in addition to old, rundown factories being renovated and reopened. Another piece of good news for Ghana is the planned revival of the abandoned Abuso glass factory in the western part of the country. Millions of glasses and bottles were originally produced and supplied by the Ghanaian glass factory in the Pristia Uni Valley area for the beverage industry in Ghana and elsewhere. Stick with us as we highlight the government's preparation towards the revival of this mega enterprise, what this means for the Ghanaian industrialization agenda, and all the details surrounding its revival. The factory, however, has been closed for roughly 20 years and has not been operating for so many years due to a lack of machinery maintenance and capital. Before we begin, as always, I would appreciate you to give a like to this video and subscribe to this channel as well. The Abuso Glass Factory, which is currently having operational difficulties, will be taken over, according to the Gihak Distilleries Company Ltd. In the western part of Ghana, in the town of Abuso, close to Tarkwa, the capital of the Wasa West regions, is a glass manufacturing business called the Abuso Glass Factory. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, Ghana's first president, formed the corporation on February 5, 1966, at a cost of roughly 9 million Ghana cedis, the currency of Ghana at the time. The glass factory produced 2 million dinnerware pieces, 8 to 10 million square feet of sheet glass, and 18 million bottles annually. The business was a significant producer and supplier of bottles, among many other things, for the beverage sector. In its early years, the Abuso glass industry employed 500 or so Ghanaians. The majority of the workers came from Abuso and other nearby areas. After it was given to Mr. Gilchrist Olympio, the business was renamed Tropical Glass Factory. Unfortunately, the company failed as a result of financial difficulties. In 2003, the Ghanaian Electrical Utility decided to seize the power supply for the Abuso Glass Factory's operations, and the factory was therefore put on a diversity Charleston. The government stated ambitions to bring the business back to its former glory in 2017, but a takeover of the Abuso Glass Factory wasn't started until Jihak Distillery Businesses Limited was identified as the investor in 2019. As Jihak themselves were once its customers, buying bottles for its top-tier Lego brands, the management of the alcohol company, led by their managing director, Mr. Maxwell Kofi Juma, paid a visit to the premises located in the western region of Ghana to assess its current condition and formulate a way forward for its rehabilitation. The Abuso Glass Factory, one of the top producers of glass and bottles in West Africa, also provided services to businesses like Coca-Cola and Guinness. The investor's decision to restart the business is a wager to save money on the cost of importing the vital raw materials from overseas. The manager of Gihak stated that West Africa, specifically Manchuria, Burkina Faso, and Ivory Coast, has enormous market potential for the glass bottle sector. The general director of Gihak Distillery added that we anticipate finishing the factory's rehabilitation rapidly and beginning actual production in the next months. Jihak Distillery is an innovative company that last year moved to using natural fruit alcohol extracts for the creation of its alcoholic beverages. This speaks to the investor's capacity. The enterprise, the first sophisticated distillery to be built in West Africa under the Industrial Development Corporation of 1958, was founded to take use of the country's wide variety of foods. It has mastered the skill of distillation, refinery mixing, and the production of many kinds of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages over the years. The Western Regional Minister designate, Kwabena Okir Darko Mensah, spoke at the Appointment Committee of Parliament and said that the government is assisting Jihak Distillery with its rehabilitation so that it can begin actual production very soon. For a business like the Abuso Glass Factory, he said, we have helped Jihak take over the project and they are currently restoring it so that it can start producing bottles. This industrial revival strategy adopted by governments in partnership with the Gihak Distillery is crucial because this business, founded during the Nkrumah administration, would increase production, foster innovation, 
and create jobs for its municipality and Ghana as a whole. Any further updates on the Abusu Industrial Project would be given out on this channel. As always, if you like contents like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of these. Remember to turn on notifications to get alerts of newly released videos from Africa Reloaded.